Hello you guys and welcome to another video. You're at Meg's house, baby. And I can't wait to show you this slick wreck look. So stay tuned. Let's get started. So I'm starting off on freshly washed and conditioned hair. So for all protective styles, we want to make sure that we are maintaining our hair, keeping it like in the utmost best condition for growth and overall hair health so I am still doing the lock method if you haven't seen my lock video uh, I'll try and add it to the end or put it in the description box but I'm doing leave-in conditioner all throughout my hair you saw me just spray it comb it through and then I'm going to section my hair creating a section in the front then you'll see a section in the middle and the back and when I tell you this Kenora stuff it's like a Kenora all-in-one. It is like my favorite leave-in conditioner right now. I'm really making sure my hair is kind of saturated. You'll see whenever I spread the sections apart because it's so thick, like I have to add more product to it. So once I have my bottom section, I'm going to create smaller sections within. I'm going in with some castor oil because that is the step two in the lock method, the leave-in oil and then cream. I'm using the As I Am Moisture Milk for my cream. And I like, these are all my favorite products, you guys. Like, I need to make a favorites video. That'd be great. But anyway, so now I'm using the Shea Moisture. I think this is like the high porosity moisture seal gel. It definitely is one that's on the lighter side in terms of ability to hold curls so I would say like maybe use a thicker gel if that's what you would prefer a longer hold but as you can see these little blonde curls are popping okay they have woke up they are here at the party they have shrunken a great deal I mean y'all just know this comes with ugh, I mean type 4 hair basically like I've accepted it I, I've been natural for like five years now it is nothing to me but you definitely see the curls are created and it's definitely a way to maintain moisture, have the hair protected. I mean, I'm just like juicy curls. So anyway, you see me taking my detangler brush. That's another one of my staples. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, juicy baby. Anyway, clearly I'm happy. I'm going to take that entire section and basically make it into its own ponytail. And using a scrunchie, not a rubber band, I'm going to just loop that around several times because I use the scrunchies that are like pretty big because sometimes I use them for my pineapples. Okay, so you see in the middle section, that section is split in half. And that's just because it's easier for me to do. Um, if your hair may be a little bit thinner than mine you might not need to separate the middle section but that's what I do also notice that I use a clip to stretch it out into the position of the ponytail and that way I would have like a smooth layer of hair going back into the ponytail instead of it being a big hump that I'm trying to like overcome because nobody wants like humps all over their head so again I took that clip every time I added a section I pulled it back now moving on to the hair on the top. I'm just going to use this comb. I want to say it's by DNA Curls. I got it from the New Orleans Hair Expo last year. Oh my gosh. When I say best comb ever because it's like super long and actually gets like through the hair. And that's awesome. And again, especially if you have really thick hair. And then I'm taking a rat tail comb just to really get my part straight. Because you know when you got slick, sleek hair you you gotta be on point you gotta come correct like that part gotta be on point okay so notice this hair was pretty dry i added some water that's another important step if you find your hair drying throughout this process add some water so your curls can really pop because otherwise i mean it's just going to be putting products on dry hair and it's not going to give you the results that you want so i'm doing out those same steps leave-in oil cream using my brush to define the curls and I'm just gonna keep doing that section by section and I would say overall this takes me about an hour now I'm going in you can use whatever edge control you like this is my favorite one it is by 
curls it is the blueberry blueberry bliss control paste i mean golly gee whiz what y'all people want me to do with these names but anyway so i applied that to my edges and the part because again we're going for a very sleek we want a nice good hold i'm using a dense what some people call a black girl brush you know to definitely make sure it's nice and smooth as i'm creating my little puff in the back and again just taking multiple scrunchies to lay each section down so you're gonna see i think i end up with like four or five scrunchies in my head in total and it's pretty easy with taking it down because you just take it down one scrunchie at a time but you see same process and taking it with this last layer i'm using hairpins here just because since i did do a side part i really want this hair to lay down over here and taking that last scrunchie to bring all the hair together and then now take whatever silk or satin um scarf that you have to tie the hair up yes we are going angie mama okay <laughs> Tie the hair up to definitely lay down the hair. If you have like five minutes, 10 minutes, however many minutes you have minutes because you're driving to wherever you're going, just put this on. Do not forget to take it off your head before you get to wherever you're going. That is like my biggest fear. Like when I do this before going to work, I'm like, oh God, please don't let me forget to take this off my head because those people in the hospital will look at me like I am plum crazy. Maybe not because, you know, I do some different things. But anyway, now you see I am back. I'm actually about to go to work. Um, I think I let this sit for about an hour. And voila. You see? Slick, baby. Do you see the shine? Okay, the shine. Girl, let me pass you some sunglasses because I don't want to blind you. Okay? Okay? I am coming for this summer. All summer 18, baby. <laughs> But anyway, hope you enjoyed this really quick look. Check out the other videos and peace till next time.